If I were here on my own in the dark, what I'm actually talking about happened. And now we know I deserve my German passport because look. I'll say look, look out for low hanging rock outcrop on this road. Once again, Germany surprised me, quite apart from that outcrop. I know I do harp on about this, but this is really fairy tale-ish here, and in a rather British way, because it's very sweet. Um, if I were here on my own in the dark, on the road that I'm just, just showing you now, that might be the more of the German fairy tale version. but. It's gorgeous here, and again, it's completely different to all these other areas of Germany I've seen so far. This is South Germany. I believe I'm in Baden. I'm between Karlsruhe and Pilmasens on my way to Heusweiler. I've got something very interesting to talk to you about when I'm in Heusweiler. But this road is stunning, stunningly beautiful. And almost Norway-like, loads and loads of road, not many other vehicles, gorgeous nature, either side of it, as if that's just the most normal thing in the world to have a beautiful road going through beautiful nature. When I go along this road, rather than think of the gods, I think of fairy tales. And I think that's the difference between a lot of places in, in Germany and in, in Norway for me so far, with my vast experience of Norway. Oh, it's amazing here, look. But soon I was in Heusweiler, in the Saarland area of Germany, where I discovered something that is not talked about, and which has now been forgotten, and I don't understand why. So this year is 50 years of Heusweiler and the surrounding areas becoming one municipality. And apparently this um, fact is quite forgotten, not about the municipality, I can't say it, but about the fact that the Junge Bunchu was a thing here. That was a resistance against National Socialism in World War II, where farmers, miners, and railway workers hid people like Allied pilots who were shot down, refugees, people in danger at the time. And they hid them for a long time in this area and smuggled them out. Of course, at the time they were viewed as traitors, yeah? But they believed strongly that they could see what was happening with National Socialism. They believed very strongly that it was wrong, like all you guys going out and demonstrating against the right these days. And so I just wanted to bring that up and point it out. It's um, not talked about. I don't know why. I hope I haven't put my foot in it for any reason, because I think it's a wonderful thing that they did, very moving, and I think it's a wonderful thing that you're all doing, going out and demonstrating against the right. It makes me feel very, very proud of you who are doing this. I do feel that what some of the people with the right are misinformed and don't realize what it means. It was all a long time ago, and certainly in Britain, our education isn't the same as in Germany, and we don't realize what it means if you move too far to the right. Hi guys, look, I've got a cup of coffee. I had to make myself a coffee in the interval of the show today because little Marcello was ill and I had three hours sleep last night. So thank goodness he's all right now. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go and cuddle him now and hopefully we'll all sleep well tonight. We did, and it's off to show you another gorgeous town and tell you about a little protest situation of my own that happened at the concert in Heusweiler. I wandered through the streets of Ettingen and suddenly found myself in front of a palace, the Ettinger Schloss. 
It started life in the 13th century, but was destroyed and rebuilt until it became the Baroque beauty we can peacefully wander around today. St. Martin's Church is one of the oldest buildings in Ettingham, having survived the town fire of 1689. Ettingham was a Roman settlement, and St. Martin's foundation is built upon Roman baths from 200 AD. The drama of this trip was not over though, as I was photobombed by a pushy beggar. Of course, I didn't mind, quite to the contrary. I just wish I'd had something to offer him. He seemed very hungry. So apparently, this river is called the Alp, like the Alp mountain that I showed you in my video about the Blautopf. I will link. And this is the edge of the Black Forest. Ashton, I miss you. I would love to meet up with Ashton again. She was so, so lovely. I had, oh my goodness, I don't think I even had 2,000 subscribers and she did a collab with me, a, collabor a collaboration with me and gave me a big boost and I love her and I want to see her again. So yesterday I had a lot of drama before the show because there was a woman there, she said she was from the press and she was really, really rude. And she said, I don't want to photograph you on stage and I'm not staying for the concert. And she ordered me to stand up against a black wall and wanted to take my photo to write something about the concert she wasn't going to watch. And she was shouting at me that she'd been waiting for an hour already but I didn't know anything about her. And normally if the press comes, they film, they, they don't film, not allowed. They photograph during the concert when I'm on stage and not backstage with a flash up close against a black wall, making me feel like I've actually been arrested. And um, I said to her, you're not gonna photograph her with a flash, are you? And she didn't answer me. She said, just get there. Now, I thought that was very rude. And at that point, I decided that I was not going to pose for a photo for her because I don't think anybody should speak to anybody like that. I don't think that's okay at all, especially because I hadn't done anything wrong and I was doing her a favor because she wasn't going to do any publicity for us for our concert she wasn't even going to write a review having seen it nothing so I said no <laughs> and uh, she wouldn't leave and I said you've you know I have to go on stage now there's an audience the room was full and I have to go on the stage and do the concert now and uh, she just kept trying to force me to have my photograph taken. Guys, I don't even know if I dare tell you this, but I escorted that lady out. I said to her, come on. I said, don't, you're not going to write anything. No, I'm not. I said, then I shall show you how, I shall make sure you leave now. And I escorted her out through the concert hall in my dress. I just feel like I need, I just, I don't know. It was the right thing to do. She was being super, super rude, but I'm a bit in shock that this happened. I, I, yeah, the concert organizer was so lovely and she apologized for it all, but I just don't understand what on earth that was about. I'm really in shock. Anyway, I was shaking like a leaf and I had to go on stage and give a lovely show for these people. But they were so nice, such a lovely audience. 
Um, oh, they were great. They really got into it. They were cheering and, and everything. And, and oh, I just had such a fun show. And so after a while, I stopped shaking from all the adrenaline. And uh, I had a lovely show. But um, if anything does come in the press, that lady was not there. And now we know I deserve my German passport because look at the make of my rucksack. I didn't buy it because it's this make. I bought it because it's a lady's rucksack, which means that it fits differently around the hips and the chest. I will say no more.